All right, welcome back to Xenonauts 2. I'm really keen to get into this session. Last time we engaged a cleaner base of operations in Australia and managed to get hold of a bunch of cleaner data, which is cool. It's got us our cleaner network progress straight up to 21%, which is really, really nice. We did take some pretty nasty injuries last time. The biggest one here being TRM is down for 37 days. Everyone else is just a little bit hurt, not too badly. We should get them back up and running pretty quickly. Um, engineering are working on their stun guns and stun balance. I want to get them up and in our hands ASAP. Um, base as well. Med base about to pop, which is really nice. I'm keen to get our next radar online ASAP, but the radar is going to cost 400,000 and we're going to need another set of generators for that as well, which is another 200,000. So we're looking at building up 6, 600,000 worth of funds before we can get our next radar built. We also will need to get another base up and running, which is 750,000. So those are like the main things that I'm concerned about in the back of my mind right now. Hopefully we get a, a UFO this session. I'd like to shoot a UFO down. Um, we haven't actually had any UFO combat yet. And a UFO breach is always a pretty scary thing. I'm just gonna get time ticking forward. Okay, so our medical facility has been built. I'm actually really curious to see what that's done to our healing rates. Oh, wow. Okay, so it took one day to build and it's knocked 17 or 16 days off TRM's recovery. And the, yeah, limbs already healed. That, that's, that's a big difference. I'm really glad I built that. That's actually made a, a significant difference for us. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for that. Okay, let's get back to the, the map here. Which time to tick forward. More abductions happening. Stun guns are built. Cool, so that's two stun guns in our inventory, but I want the two stun buttons as well. Oh no, sorry. That's the Mars Combat Platform built. Now, I've already given this... Um, I've gone through all the names and suggestions, which has been a lot. And I've already rolled on a, a, a name wheel for this. And our second... Um, our second one is going to be called William Wally, which I quite like, um, Fighting for Freedom. Now, I've been debating whether or not to give it heavy steel plating. It does knock the time units down, but it does make it a little bit more survivable. And it has been tanking a little bit. Uh, it means that it can't do as much combat, but apart from that, like firing off the rockets is 50% of its turn units. Firing the rifle is about 48%. I think we can afford to take to put the heavy steel plating on to give it that extra armor. It's only minus 12 time units. I'm very tempted to swap out the rocket launcher for the for the heavy cannon and give it a smoke launcher as well to try and change its role a little bit, but I still like the rockets for blowing open buildings. Um, so for now, I think I'm going to keep this build, but we're going to go with the heavy steel plating. All right, let's get back to spinning things on the geoscape. Okay, farmers... Okay, so much is happening. Not really. So if some farmers got disappeared in the Soviet Union, and we now have our first UFO. So where are they? Where are they right now? It's in, coming into Central Africa. It must have just come in from orbit for us to detect it this late. Let's dispatch Hitman One and Hitman Two, and see what they can do. They're coming in with their, um, their basically their their miniguns, and they've got each got two Sidewinder missiles. Uh, this is a change from when I played the demo before. I'm pretty sure you can only give your aircraft one weapon back then, but it's nice to know they've got guns and missiles. So Hitman 1, Hitman 2, um, that's going to be what? Comic and Monarch? Well, Monarch and Comic. Uh, let's see how they go. I'm not going to fast forward through this, the start of the engagement here. I want to see how they, they link up. Um, but this, this is a real-time battle, if you haven't seen this before, and it's quite tricky. Uh, they did say that they were going to change this before the game release. I don't know if that has actually happened. Okay, it looks like this is still not 100% complete. So it's going to have a major visual and gameplay update during early access at some point. But the it's just not as balanced and polished as the rest of the game. So we've got the enemy scout here. And we know that it's heading uh, northwards at the moment. This is the, the field of fire of its weapons. It has, if we zoom in, we can see that it has no armor and 275 hit points. Our aircraft have no armor and 100 hit points. Now, in a straight-on fight, this thing will, will chew up our aircraft. We can change our approach vectors. We can go like this, or we can go like this. I don't like the behind vector too much because it means a trailing plane struggles to catch up. The problem with coming on this vector is it means one of the planes is going to get shot a lot. But I think triangle front is a better way to go. We can give each of our aircraft different orders. So we've got roll left and roll right, which is an evasive maneuver. We've got afterburners. This is an important one because when you afterburn, you disable your weapons and you can't roll. And you don't want to get caught in that. And there's also retreat from combat. So what we're going to do is we're going to see which of these two aircraft the scout turns towards. The other one is going to afterburn towards it and try and engage it from behind, while the one it's going for is going to try and either fly through it or engage in invasive actions. I'm not sure which one I want to go for yet, but let's see how this plays out. Okay, instantly we can see it's turning towards Hitman 2. So Hitman 1, they both launched all their Sidewinders, is going to afterburn because I need to get it into range to fire on the scout as soon as possible. Hitman 2, I want it to cross over the scout, but as 
shallow or sharp an angle as possible so that when it does, it's not taking too much fire. Um, so I want it to turn in as well, I think. Hang on, if it turns in, and I think that's actually gonna hurt me more, but I wanna turn in like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll left and bring us, so now it's switched targets. So we're gonna change over here. We need to get you to stop burning. We need Hitman 2 to start burning. And we need Hitman 1 to turn away. Good splash. So how much damage do the missiles do? We've taken 100 hit points off with the missiles. Okay, it's now turning back towards Hitman 2. Hitman 1, get back on target. Hitman 2 needs to stop burning and it needs to roll left to get under this area here. And we want Hitman 1 when it's on target to start burning. Okay, this has not worked out exactly as I wanted it to. Uh, Hitman 2 is gonna have to make a fly pass of the scout. Let's tell it to head this direction here. Make that angle as, as shallow as possible. Okay, they are now taking fire, and Hitman 1 is coming in. Let's get, let's get them, let's, we're just gonna have to tank that. Let's turn off the afterburner here. Let's get you to turn up this way. Okay, I wanna tell Hitman, okay, we got the kill. I was about to tell Hitman 2 to pull out, but that's fine. So, Hitman 2 took a lot of damage, but survived. Hitman 1 got the kill, um, and we shot down the, the, the UFO. That could have been better, but honestly, we need better weapons on our aircraft. Um, Four Sidewinders only taking off 100 health was not a lot. So now we have a crash site to deal with. Um, this crash UFO is likely to contain viable alien technology and resources. Deploying a combat team to eliminate any surviving extraterrestrials at the crash site will allow recovery to begin. This is pretty a big deal. We definitely want to do this. We can, if we wait out the three days or just click collect bounty, we'll give it to the local government. They'll take all the materials. They'll deal with the aliens. We don't want that to happen because we can get more than 100 grand's worth of stuff from it this early in the game. Now, I'm not going to launch a combat team just yet. Um, if we have a look at our soldiers, uh, we've got Gillenwater and Corazon Ray on 83% hit points. Now, if I understand how the med bay works, it increases the amount of healing that happens every day. You can see that 2.5 HP per day. Um, that's going to leave them, honestly, without a lot of hit points. But if we have a look at engineering, our stun guns will be done in one hour and our stun batons will be done in 11 hours. There's a potential that we could pick an alien up here. So we're going to wait for the stun batons to be produced. It's not very far from home base, so it's not going to take too long to fly over there. So I'm just going to fast forward until we've got our batons. Stun guns are done. And our stun... Yes, that's weird. This popped up after this. And the stun batons will be ready in 23 hours. Okay, that's per stun gun. I don't want to wait another day. I don't think waiting another day is a good idea. Um, they're at 83 and 84. I probably don't want to take them on a mission, if I'm being completely honest. Let's set up Carnival and see what we're dealing with. I always like to kick everyone out and read, just do it from scratch. So first things first, uh, position two is going to be William Wally. Uh, position one is going to be uh, Matches Burn, our machine gunner. Position seven is going to be our sniper. Uh, that's Game of Kane. So that's like the core there. Now, we want a rifleman in three and four. So of our remaining people, we've got four set as riflemen, two of which we haven't used before. Wang and Marine Dumont uh, will need to be renamed if I assign them. But for now, we're going to put Lin in that position there. They've got... 54 turning, it's 57 accuracy. Their strength is low, but everything else is good. So we're gonna put Lin in that position there. And then in the other rifleman position, um, T-Rem is no way is coming. But we've got Disco Caddy, and Disco Caddy's got good stats. So Disco Caddy's gonna go in the other rifleman slot. So now we need to deal with these. We've got two assaults we need to take with us. Now, I don't know if I can really afford to take Reno and Corazon. No, I can, can't take Reno, but I can take where ours are other assault. Here we go, I can take more ghoul. Now, of the people that we do aren't taking with us, that aren't available, so that's any of these three, who would make a good assault? Who's got good turn units? Chauvin has 57 turn units. Their accuracy is low, which is fine. Everything else is good. They are going to change to an assault for this mission. So they're um, resetting as... Why can't I see assault? There it is, it's at the top. Resetting to assault. Slight time unit penalty. We may mess around with what they're carrying slightly. Uh, give them a kiss, let's say we've got two slots left. Now, until now... I have been um, putting putting shields in these positions, but I'm wondering how useful shields are, really. The problem for me is they can't climb through windows, and I wonder if I just want two more riflemen. I feel like shields just, the fact they've got a pistol, I mean, I could give them a stun gun, but I don't think the ammo is very good in a stun gun. I think we're gonna take, 
Well, I need another assault. No, I've got my two assaults. I just need two more riflemen. I think I'm going to take two more riflemen here. So accuracy is bad on both Wang and Marine. We could take, we could make one of them into a shotgunner, actually. We could make Marine here a shotgunner. The bravery is a bit low, but the reflexes are good, actually. Looking at the stats, I think Wang here is a better rifle, a better shotgunner. We need to give them a name. Um, let me grab the name from the name list. So they're going to be Nort Nortonius. Thank you very much for uh, supporting the channel, Nortonius. Um, so they are our, uh, one of our new riflemen. I'm going to deal with their equipment in a second. And our last position is going to be... No, sorry. We're not going to make them a rifleman. We're going to make them an assault. And the last position is going to have to be a rifleman, I think. So we have the take Gillenwater, who is... I think I'm going to take the injured Gillenwater. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think that's going to be fine, because then I don't need another assault, though. Well, then we'll make it our Tornius. Hmm. What, are, what are your stats like? You've got a 49 for accuracy, which isn't great. We could maybe go with three assaults for this mission. It, well, actually, we don't want four assaults. The four assaults is insane. So, yeah, the Tornius is going to have to be... I didn't realize... Yeah, okay, let's just clear this and redo this. So I need two riflemen, not two assaults. We've got two assaults already. We're not going to take Reno. We're going to give Reno a chance to recover. We're just going to have to go with some low-accuracy riflemen. So we're going to take Notorious as a rifleman. And we're going to take... So the option between Mor Robert Morgan and Marine Dumont. 59 accuracy. I think I'm going to go for the higher accuracy person who was previously a sniper. And we're going to name them Raikou. Hopefully I've, I've, I've named that correctly. So they're going to come in as a rifleman. And your name is R-A-K-A-O or I-O? A-O. Rikau. Thank you as well for supporting the channel. One of my new channel members. Okay. So that's how we're built out. Now let's just check what everyone is taking with us. The matches burn has the machine gun and the grenade launcher, which we need to remember they can use. It costs 20 time units to swap it out. Sadly, I can't put it in the secondary slot, which is a real shame. It would be great if I could double equip it. But they've got smoke grenades and they've got um, normal rounds. So keep that in mind. William Molly has a, the rockets and the rifle. Lynn is carrying an assault rifle, a med kit. They've got a grenade, a flashbang. Now, I think there was a change made. I think Defender Armor weighs more now. I think it's been given a, a, a slight debuff in how much it weighs, which means that it's causing more of a time unit penalty. Um, the 40 time unit penalty, the 40 time unit penalty, only having 40 time units is quite low. If I get rid of the med kit, there's no time unit penalty at all. So what I'm going to do is we're going to grab a smoke grenade on Lynn. Give them a little bit of variety in what they can use. Disco Caddy, also having an 11 time unit penalty. Um, I do want to keep the med kit on some people. So Disco, you're going to keep hold of that. Morgul is rocking a whole ton of equipment with a slight time unit penalty. I'm pretty happy with that. I would quite like to give my assaults the stun guns. How much is that going to weigh them down? We could do that and get rid of the demo charges on them. They don't need the demo charges because they're going in with C4. We'll do the same with Shravan. So dump this, dump this, grab this, grab a C4 in your backpack. Now that's a nine time unit penalty. I'm happy enough with that. What have you got in terms of grenades? So we've got two flashes and a HE grenade there. I would like to take a second flash here, but I just don't have the time units for it. Um, none of my riflemen have... Uh, armor inserts either. Game with Kane, I'm pretty happy with what you're carrying. I'm really happy that you've got a med kit. Let's grab um let's grab a frag grenade on you just so we're training your strength and also this could be useful later in the in the mission. Notornius, you need to switch out to defender armor and uh, I don't really want to dump all these med kits. Who has a med kit at the moment? Disco Caddy has a med kit. So Notorious here, I'm going to swap this smoke grenade out for a flashbang. If I put this in their bag, does it change anything? No. I think I'm going to keep the med kit, honestly. They've only got, th only got 39 time units, though. It's really low. But I want the defender armor on 35 time units. I want to dump the med kits from these two. They just haven't got the time units for them. I'm going to give them both a flash and a smoke. So that means we're only carrying med kits on our sniper and disco caddy, which is a little bit dangerous. But I think that's how we're going to have to play it. So you've got smoke. So let's just check what we've got distribution. You've got smoke and flash. 
you got smoke and flash. You got smoke and flash. You got two flashes. You got one flash. I'm quite happy for the assaults to kind of be flash heavy. Um, you've got smoke and grenade. You got smoke and flash, and you got smoke and flash. Okay, so that's the. That's just my brain. I need to make sure everyone has a smoke grenade and a flash because I want to use smoke grenades more often. Um, Raiko here is actually like 100% on their carry weight. I would like them to carry a little bit more. I'm going to give them a second grenade for a slight time unit penalty. Uh, six time units is a lot. Would another flashbang weigh less? It's six no matter what. The other option is do I want to take ammo for the stun guns? Uh, how much is that going to weigh? If I maybe get rid of the second stun grenade? Yeah, let's do that. Just in case we do end up in a situation where I want to stun something. Um, we would drop the C4 from you, actually. And no, I don't want to drop the C4. Let's give you a demo charge instead of C4. How's that? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we only got one C4 with us. That's fine. So that's the team. The team is ready to go. I just want to check the layout in Carnival as well, make sure the layout's okay. So we've got uh, Rifleman. Rifleman at the front. No, I want the assaults at the front. So swap them around. Swap them around. So, right, so sh shotgun. Um, rocket launcher, shotgun, rifleman, heavy, rifleman, sniper, rifleman, rifleman. Okay, I'm ready for the mission. It's taken a while to set up. It is now six o'clock. So if we head in pretty quickly, we shouldn't have to worry about a uh, night mission. It's probably gonna be a night mission actually looking at the time. Do we have time? I think we can wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow before we engage this mission. I want it to happen during the daytime. So we'll take off at 5 a.m. Let's, let's go. Launch combat team. And everyone is ready. Let's launch a dropship. All right. Excellent. Let's go. And that took a while to set up, but I'll put time stamps in so you can skip that if you're not interested in it and just jump straight to the combat mission. Carnival 1 has reached Crash Site Scout. Let's commence tactical battle. All right. Looks like we are in some sort of maybe storage facility or there's a market stall here. An alien spacecraft has crashed in the region. We must eliminate any surviving extraterrestrials so you can recover the wreckage for further study. Victory conditions. Eliminate all hostile units. Alternate. Eliminate all hostile units within the UFO and hold it for three turns. That's new. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there when I played the demo. So that's an alternate win condition. It means you don't have to chase the aliens all around the map if they're hiding anywhere. Low conditions, all units eliminated. Further info, as this vessel has crashed, the UFO and its contents may have suffered damage and some aliens may have been killed on impact. Well, that would be nice. All right, we're starting off seeing an alien. Where is the alien we can see? What are you? All right, there's some sort of 80s rock star, rock stadium bebop style robot, not robot, a reptile guy here. So that's something we need to deal with straight away because he's got line of sight into the ship. But let's just have a quick check on either side of us because we don't want to assume there's no aliens to either side. All right, two pieces of good news, three pieces of good news. One, we've got the corner of the map. There's no aliens here unless there's an alien hiding here. And we have some really, really strong cover leading into this direction here. That's good, that's a good start. Let's check this way. All right. We've got an alien directly out the side of the ship. Um, so that's two aliens in very tricky positions. Now, Lynn can run to these barrels and be in reasonable cover and get us a better line of sight. So let's just see what they can see. Two aliens to the right-hand side of the ship. This is pretty bad. This is very, very bad. Um, we need to deal with these aliens urgently. This one here is going to be a big concern. I'm thinking if we smoke this corner here, it's going to put him out of action for a couple of turns, meaning we can get the rest of the team to face and deal with these guys. Now, this guy is facing the ship, so anyone who runs out of here is probably going to get shot by him. So I can think of two different options. I can smoke this area so that we can shuffle ships around and bring them out of the smoke into cover, or we try and smoke him, making it hard for him to shoot us. So Lynn has a smoke grenade. It's going to cost her 24 time units to use it. She can actually throw it from here, but she has a 40% chance to get him in the smoke. He doesn't actually need to be in the smoke. He needs to be shooting through the smoke. So I'm thinking if I throw the smoke here, we should be in a pretty good position. Let's do that. Okay, excellent throw from Lin. Lin can hopefully make it into cover here. Um, they actually have enough for a snapshot against this guy here. I'm not going to take that shot yet because that will turn him around. And we'll save that 11% for maybe a finisher shot rather than an opening shot. Now... We probably want to flashbang these guys if we can't kill them both this turn. The focus, I think, is going to be to kill this one because there's no, not really any cover blocking him. And then we can try and flashbang this one. We also need to deal with this situation here. I'm thinking that we get more ghoul now. Unfortunately, my assaults don't have smoke. So we're going to have to rely on somebody like Reiko to smoke the corner here. The assaults are going to have to come around and actually deal with these guys. So, um, Shravan, can you get into cover here? 18 to get into cover there. And then from there, you've got a 53% chance on three shots. 
I kind of like those odds, and it's a pretty nice position. You might also attract some reaction fire from him, which will be very inaccurate and wipe out his reaction fire. So let's move to here. No reaction fire. I want you to take this shot. I want to get you to crouch first, though, so that you're not uh, standing up for reaction fire. Okay, all three of those hit, and he did not die. Now I'm going to take the shot from Lin. Lin missed, and he got an overwatch shot, so Lin hasn't got enough to you to crouch. So, interesting. He's not crouching, but he is not dead. In terms of other positions, we've got Notorious here. Could move to this position here, and they will have a 69% chance to hit from that position. They've got exactly enough time units to do that. They may get shot making this move, but they're going to have to just accept that. They did not get shot. Take the, take the 69. Okay, one alien down. He took, what, three shotgun shells and a rifle bullet to kill. That's quite a lot. I'm guessing these guys have armor. Now we need to deal with this one here. What we could do is get Disco Caddy to flash them. We need 31 time units for a flash. This will get to be too close. That's 26, 17. I could put them on this angle here. That's exactly enough time units for the flashbang. I think that's what we're going to do because getting, getting flashed means they won't be able to move properly on the next turn or take fire. Okay, that alien is as contained as I can get them right now. We now need to look at this direction here. I'm thinking that we get Morgul up to the wall here. The only concern is this window. So we're going to get the Mars weapon platform to drive to here. Check this direction. There's nobody watching this window that I can see. I needed to get out of Morgul's path because it's in Morgul's path right now. So I'm going to move it to here. Turn it to face this way. So we just it's now watching this guy. It's got a 71% chance to hit with a rocket as well, which is interesting. We're going to get Morgul to run to this wall. That gets them out of the way for this engagement. Okay. So now we've got a couple of units left. Game of Cain can't shoot this turn. But they've actually got a really good chance of firing down this road from behind this ute. Or also from behind here. In fact, oh, they're one time unit off. If I move uh, matches burn to here, can I actually get them into position in cover there and get a shot? 35. Yes, I can. I can, oh, I can get a I can get an aim shot here for 61% chance to hit. Let's take that shot. Oh, I was not expecting that return fire to be that accurate. Okay, that just happened. That's okay. We're, we're, we're not out of action now. Um, but I've, got, I've got a 71% chance to hit with Rocket to finish this guy off if we can't. So can we get a shot on him with Reiko? If Reiko moves here, 81% chance to hit, but we've only got enough for a normal shot. Let's try that and see if a rifle shot plus a sniper shot is enough to kill one of these guys. Okay, that's a miss. Do I take the 70% chance to hit with the Mars now? We need 34 time minutes for a rocket hit. So that's pretty much the only move I can make. Let's take that shot. Okay, he's still alive, but he is also suppressed, which kind of works out. Um, I don't have a shot with Matches Burn, unfortunately. I could bring Matches Burn to the wall here and they can step out next turn if they need to. I will just crouch them and face this direction. Okay, so their turn's done. Morgul, you can crouch there. You can't crouch. You're done there. You can't crouch. We need to deal about your bleeding damage next turn. You can't crouch. You can crouch. You can't crouch. You're crouched. All right, so we've got two aliens in play, but they're both suppressed. That's the bleed damage on Game of Cain that just went off. Another alien just ran into combat. Now he's taking stun damage running through the smoke. I wonder if it's worth trying to stun him with our stun guns. Could we potentially stun out this big reptile guy? and capture him, or are they going to be too tough for that? That's the big question. So Gamma Kane is going to take 5 damage at the end of the turn, which sucks. But Gamma Kane should be able to heal themselves. So firing, using, it's going to cost 20 time units to swap out for the medkit, and then heal themselves. So they, they won't be able to do anything else this turn if they're healing. Whereas they could potentially take a shot. I don't think any of the people here have a medkit. No, they don't. Closest medkit, I think, is here. There's no way Disco Caddy is getting there for a heal. No. Game of K would have to move over. Uh, so we need 25 time units left over for a heal. Well, let's actually deal with this first. What shotgun do we have here? We've got Shervan. 
Why don't we try and stun this guy? So stun will take 15 time units per shot. Um, we've got a 53% chance to hit. I'm worried this isn't going to work, but I think I've got enough firepower here to kill him if it doesn't. Stun That's not much more stun than the um, smoke, honestly. That's 22 stun. We've got one shot left. He's suppressed, but not asleep yet. Because what I could try and do is bring Morgul over to finish the stunning. Six time units. So with a stun gun, I need 17 for a, a decent chance of hitting, which puts her there. So that's going to be a 47% chance on one hit. I could just drop a smoke grenade on him again. He is suppressed and just... Uh, you've got enough terminus to get around here, but there is an alien up in this direction. Who has a smoke grenade? You have a smoke. So I could pull Lin and Disco Caddy out, smoke him, and basically reload the stun gun and try and stun him next turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think he's he's not... He's pretty heavily stunned already. The smoke might knock him out. So that means that Disco Caddy could potentially heal up Game of Kane this turn. Uh, they need 25 time units for a he No! Okay. I accidentally double-clicked there, but it's fine. I mean, it's not great because we've revealed this alien. That might change what I do here, but it's also not the end of the world. Uh, he's in an awkward position, honestly. Notorious could move to here and frag grenade him with an 88% chance. That won't kill him, I don't think, but it will probably destroy the cover he's next to and open up some shots for me. The other option is I throw a demo charge and clear all the cover around him. Like this. And that'll let the rest of the team shoot at him. But I also want you to throw a smoke grenade. That's pretty important. Uh, do either of you have smokes? You've got a smoke. So Disco Caddy could throw- no, Disco Caddy can't throw the smoke. And Lin can't throw a smoke. Uh, Raiko also has a smoke. Could you throw a smoke from here? Yeah, you 50% chance to hit. It's not ideal. Could you throw a demo charge from here? Okay, let's stop. Let's let's think about this a bit more carefully. Let's deal with this situation here. So my backup here is is firing off um, a sniper shot from Game of Kane. What I'd like to try and do is step out with Matches Burn, unleash full auto on him. It's 18 times 10, which isn't great, and then step back into cover. So that will leave me with four time units. So I think it's just enough to step back into cover. So step out, fire. Okay, he's down. Now back into cover. No, you have one time unit shot. So we have to kill this guy this turn. So Game of Cain, if he fires, we'll have 18 time units left. If I fire an aimed shot, we'll have one time unit left. 26 time units left. There's a... I don't know what is blocking the shot there. 10%. But I'm going to take the shot here. Okay, he missed. How far over this way can you get? Three. Five. Where can Disco Caddy get to? With 25 time units left. Into the Sky Ranger. That's pretty good. So I'll run you to here. We're in pretty good cover. And we'll bring Disco Caddy to here. And we'll use the med kit. Okay, and we'll crouch you. So the question now becomes, how much of a threat do I think this guy is? I think it's pretty high, but he is suppressed. So we could you get around here? No, you can't. All you can do really do is turn to face this guy, which isn't great, but you are crouched. Um, we also need to protect Matches Burn here. So I kind of need two smokes this turn. Because there's no way Raikou is going to get this kill. So I think I need to smoke... Like here. To protect... Matches Burn. It's going to cost 19 time units. and leave 19 left. So you can take a normal shot first. No, no. Uh, cancel this. You can take a normal shot first. Actually, you can take... You take an aim shot, because you have 20 time units left. 57% chance to hit, but Matches Burn will get hit by that. What about the Mars Weapons Platform? Let's move it to, say, here, where it should have a clear field of fire on him. Something over here is causing a minus 10. I don't know what it is. Unless it's clipping this. Let's see what you can do with that. Oh, there goes that cover. Something exploded by the sounds of that. Okay, that's all you had for me. Oh, I fired a rocket there. I didn't mean to fire a rocket. I meant to fire a rifle round. I meant to do that. Okay, that missed anyway. Okay, so I think we are going to have to smoke here. I could... No, there's no cover there. Yeah, I have to I have to smoke here to protect Matches Burn. That was a terrible play by me. 
That leaves the last smoke grenade in the hand of Nortonius here. So they have to smoke this guy. So he's now getting stunned. Now Nortonius needs to face this way. They haven't got a shot, but they can sit there in cover. Um, Lin will move up maybe to this forklift truck. Uh, where they will not have a shot, but they will be ready in case he moves up. So your turn's done. Shravan, there's not much you can really do here. Uh, I'm just going to leave you in this position crouched and hope you don't die. Notorious, I want to leave you like that. Game of Kane, you're done. Disco Caddy, you're done. Raikou, I'm really worried about you shooting your friend here, but I'm going to crouch you here for this. Matches Burn just unfortunately can't make the step they need to make, so they're going to end there. And Morgul's just going to cover these doors in case anyone comes out of them. The Mars can stay there to hopefully draw fire. Not a great turn on this side. I'm really hoping it pays off on getting a stun on that guy. Okay, he's shooting at a civilian on the roof, which he just killed. Unfortunately, he hit Shavan. Okay, just wild return fire. Okay, we just lost a rookie. Torres just died in one hit. That was all of their hit points in that shot. I'm probably working too hard on this stun, honestly. And that's costing me men. Um, because they're they're fully dead. Uh, Notorious just died in one hit. Let's see if the, the the payoff is if I manage to stun this alien this turn. So let's reload and see what we can do. I don't think I've got a shot from here. 34%. If I move to here, I've got 36. If I move to here. Okay, we'll do, we're just gonna fire from here then. Okay, he is stunned. Sibelian shoulder. So I've got... Are we going to trade Private Notornius for an alien? I think we are. That's how it's going to have to play out here. I'm really sorry that I've lost your soldier. Um, but we did manage to capture an alien through your sacrifice. Uh, I, w I was actually planning on if a soldier died to play out a montage of their greatest moments. But all you did was run out of a ship, shoot an alien once, and throw a smoke grenade. So... Um, I'm sorry that I don't have a montage ready for you right now. This alien here is a big problem. I'm going to frag him. 35% chance to hit. 72 there. Let's throw the frag. He is still alive and kicking. Um, I'm thinking about flashbanging him. And that will let me recover our positions. I want to bring Morgul up to here. There is a chance of a shot. Yep. Yeah. Not killed him, but we hit him. He's suppressed, so he shouldn't have much in the way of return fire. Uh, we've got a very low chance to hit thanks to the smoke here. Let's take some rifle shots with the Mars. 20% chances to hit aren't great. I can move the Mars here, though. Past the smoke. 65% chance to hit is nice. That's a hit. We've got one more shot. Two hits, but no kill. Um, we could get some people up on the roof here. In terms of cover, the only other cover I'm really seeing is this cover here, which isn't great. Or the heavy cover behind this tree. We also haven't cleared this building. I'm a bit worried about the mistakes I've made in this engagement. I'm feeling like I don't have a lot of units available to me right now. This road is really bad with lack of cover. Um, can we get you behind this tree? Yeah, let's get Matches Burn over here. You haven't got a shot. 15% chance to hit. No. We're, gonna keep, we're just going to keep you in cover here behind the smoke. That's right. Game of Kane and Core here. Let's get Game of Kane back behind this ute. Where next turn they've got a good sniper field. And we'll get Disco Daddy up. This is a terrible position really because they're firing over their friend. Um, Disco Caddy could go here though and have a 40% chance to hit. Or could go here and have a 66% chance to hit. So I'm going to do that with Disco Caddy. Not a great shot. We'll crouch them down and we'll end the turn. And Lin turns over. Prasad um, is taking five bleed damage. We need to do some of that bleed very soon. Who has the other... Gamma Kane has the other med kit. So Gamma Kane's going to have to heal up Prasad. We'll have to deal with that. We've got a couple turns for that to be dealt with, though. And everyone else has finished their turn. Okay. Yes. End the turn. I'm not expecting bleed damage to, like, fade after a certain amount of time. Oh, good. That was actually almost a hit. That's a hit. Okay, there's two people bleeding. That's not ideal. And there was an alien in that building. So the lack of medkits is really... Oh, he just healed himself. The lack of medkits is a big problem now. Because Shravan is bleeding. And Morgul is bleeding. 
And I don't think bleeds go away over time. And I only have one medkit in the squad as far as I'm aware. Oh no, Disco Caddy still has their medkit. It just hasn't, hasn't been used up. Right? Disco Caddy still has their medkit. Yes, okay. So Disco Caddy can heal Morgul. Game of Cain can heal Prasad. Prasad has two turns left of healing. So I'm just going to get Prasad to run. Well, that's great. Prasad can basically make it all the way over. So we'll take a shot with Game of Cain. 63% uh, chance to hit. We just need to move the Mars weapons platform over. i move it to here. Game of Cain has a shot now. 100% chance to hit, and that'll leave them with 18 turn units. That's not enough. They need 25 turn units to use the med kit. Um, so they're not going to be able to do it this turn anyway, because Prasad can't get close enough, so that's fine. We'll take the full. We'll take the 100% chance to hit. He's still alive after that. Wow. Then I'm going to get Prasad to run to here. And equip their shotgun again and get them to crouch. So next turn, they will be healed. Uh, then we need to get Disco Caddy to deal with this situation here. I'm thinking Morgul can finish this guy from here. Can finish this guy from here. Okay. So that was... That was not ideal. At all. Can I get Raikou a shot? They can only take a snapshot, a 31% chance from there. I'm going to take it. It's likely not to do anything, but it might open me up a new option. Okay, it didn't open up me up a new option. So you're going to take five bleed damage. That's fine. You can, you can afford to bleed for a turn if I fire from here with Disco Caddy. I've got two 66s. Okay, the alien is down. Let's move you up next to Morgul so that next turn you can heal them at the start of the turn. Morgul crouch. You're fine, Reiko. Lin, I want to move you to here. Crouch you and end your turn. Preside, you're fine there. Game of Cain, you're fine there. Matches burn. You have an alien in this building. Um, he's gone back inside. I'm wondering if I just blow the wall with the Mars. Uh, we do like a, a shot here and just open it up and then try and gun him down. Or we wait until we're ready to do that. We also still have to kill this guy, actually. So let's reverse you back to here and take some rifle shots. And I do have the rifle equipped. So that's a 65% chance to hit. Okay, he is finally dead. Excellent. Let's drive you back around here just so you're not revealed to that alien if he comes back out. Um, matches burn. Just watch this way. Get ready to do some fire. And we'll clear the bleeds next turn. Okay, just keep around the corner. He, he's only wearing a... He's, he's equipped differently. So this guy's an armor with like a shotgun type thing. That guy's only got a pistol. Oh, there's a an, there's an guy with an AK just running around. Okay. So what did he do with these bleed damages this turn? This is essential we get this bleed damage tied up. So Disco Caddy, heal your buddy. Excellent. And Game McCain, I need you to heal up Shravan Prasad. So, oops, no. I need you to swap this in for your pistol, which uses 20 time units. And then I need you to heal them. So I'm going to get him to run next to you. And then you are going to use this on him. Okay, so that's all of our bleeds dealt with. Uh, can you get into cover here, Prasad? No, just get you back into the, the Sky Ranger for now. All right, ideally, we can get this guy with a full auto burst and kill him. We've got 20, 10 shots at 20%. Let's see what happens. Okay, a lot of those hit, but did not kill. Let's get the Mars to try and finish the job. Okay, that's another alien down. So we've dealt with three aliens on this side. We've dealt with two aliens on this side. Hopefully this guy doesn't come wake back up again. So we've dealt with six aliens so far. We need to clear this building next. This is our next big job. So let's get uh, Morgul to here. And uh, with you facing this direction, let's open this door. Okay, there's some blood in here, but nobody straight away. There's some cover here. And check this way. Okay, the first room seems to be clear. I'm going to stack you up near the doorway here. Next turn, ready to go. And we're going to bring um, Raiko in with you. And you two are just going to get ready to clear this building. I'll move him here. And pause, and then get you done. Disco Caddy's also going to come with, actually. So this is the, the team that's going to clear this building. I'm going to leave Lin on Overwatch here. I'm a bit worried about this angle for an alien coming around. But... Mm -hmm. This is actually probably better cover. If I get them to watch in this direction, they can see anyone come from either of these directions here. Sorry about that. Uh, Game of Cain, 
Your turn's over. Matches burn your turn's over. Mars, just watch this way for me. End the turn. Okay. We've dealt with most of the alien threats now. Our next objective is to find the the UFO. I'm going to clear it out. Um, and hopefully AK dude here actually helps us out and doesn't shoot one of us in the back. Okay, I just heard a door open. That could have been the UFO door opening that I just heard. Let's see what is in this room. Okay, no sign of anyone to step in. There's a dead body here, and we found the UFO, and we found an alien that stepped out of the UFO. Now, before I assume, okay, there's no more aliens in this building. So we need to get the team up ready to engage this UFO. So I'm going to bring half the team up around this way, setting up a crossfire over here, and then another team through these containers over here. Um, we also have to clear this building to be certain there's no aliens in it. So let's just bring Lynn up this direction. They've got not many time minutes left, but we're going to open the door, check in here. And they're taking a big risk, but I'm wanting to speed things along a little bit. So that building's clear. Um, let's get this team moving. So Gary Kane, how far can you run this turn? Can you make it to cover here? I could get Gary Kane up on the roof, which is actually a great position for them. Let's get Prasad in through the building as far as they can get. Oh, that's a good thing to know. If I press space after I've given a move order, they will just like turbo run. Let's get Matches Burn here. And we're going to open this door and just make sure there's nothing on the other side of it next turn. Because we haven't cleared fully this side of the map yet. Oh, there we go. There is actually aliens still on this side of the map that I'm not prepared for. Uh, they are a bit awkward for us, actually. Let's... We'll take two shots with the Mars and see how much damage we've done. That's a good shot. There's a hit with the Mars. We've got a burst fire shot with Matches Burn. It's not worth taking it. Let's get them into cover here. Turn... Uh, crouch and end their turn. We're gonna have to end the Mars's turn. Prasad's done. I can't open these windows, but we need to get f shots on this alien. Uh, Game of Cain can face this way for next turn. Can you crouch as well? No, you can't, because I turned you around. That's fine. Um, so we've got an alien here and an alien over here. So that's seven, aliens seven and eight. If I bring Raikou to here, they will not have a shot next turn. So I can put them in cover here. That wasn't an ideal move, actually, because I've left them in a really terrible position. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, that was a really bad move. Uh, I clicked a bit too early. Disco Caddy, I want you on this doorway. Uh, but at the moment, the doorway is blocked by Morgul. So I'm going to bring Morgul to here. And then Disco Caddy to here. And they... Don't they actually they don't have a shot, which is fine. They do have a shot. It's an 11% chance to hit. We'll wait and see if he moves. You're done. Morgul, just watch the doorway. There's not much you can really do. Raikou, I'm really sorry for leaving you in the open there. I also like the accidental missile discharge I had. That's right, shoot the robot and not the guy with the machine gun standing next to it. Okay, he's got back in. That's good. He's contained inside the UFO. I think that was him healing, but it sounded terrifying. <laughs> I don't know what he did there. Did he take combat drugs or something? No armor on him either. Right, let's deal with the let's deal with this guy here. I think Matches Burn can absolutely destroy him. Okay, cool. That's that dealt with. So hopefully there's no more aliens here. I'm gonna get them um the Mars weapon platform. Curiosity. No, William Wally to head down this way. Purple blood back here. Someone shot an alien back here. But no sign of any aliens. I want to just check this corner. And that's kind of what the Mars is for. Okay, unless he's in that last spot here, there's a potential for an alien to be within these containers. But with the Mars here, I've got a good coverage of making sure they're safe. So what I want to do is start stacking people up with shots on this building. So first things first, let's get see if we can get Game of Cain on the roof. Uh, this is a good starting spot. No, so next turn he's going to have to get on the roof. Okay, uh, then we're going to sweep through these uh, this area here. Let's make sure there aren't any aliens here with uh, Morgul. Looks pretty clear to me. I want to bring them up to this position here and crouch them here just in case anyone comes around the corner. Um, we're going to get Disco Caddy, the first one, kind of on side with, with shots on the UFO if anyone comes out of it. So they're, red, they're overwatching the UFO now. If anyone opens the door, they've got a shot on them. Um, let's bring Lin up. Uh, you're done, Gusso Caddy. Raikou, I also want you to get into a position where you can basically shoot at anyone coming out. And we should also check to make sure there's no aliens outside the building here. So come around this way. Uh, step out. 
Check. We're clear. Can you get to here? No, but you can get to here. Okay, that's you for this turn. Gamma Kane's done for this turn. Prazad, just get through. I want my assaults um, up, ready to assault the building. We're going to try and see forward, I think. Uh, Mars Robot's good. Matches burn. You're out of TUs this turn. I'm just going to leave you there. Okay. So hopefully the last remaining aliens are all scooped, hoop, all cooped up in the UFO. What is that? There is a brain monster inside the UFO. It just shot blue stuff. I don't like brain monsters. What happened to my cute little sectons? I'm now having to deal with brain monsters. Okay, I am not prepared for this. I hope my soldiers are. Because uh, that thing looks terrifying. Let's get Gamma Kane on the roof. Can you get to this position? Uh, you don't have enough for a shot if you do that. If I get you to here, yeah. Let's just get you here. Next turn, you're in an excellent Overwatch position. You are a little exposed, actually, because you've got no cover. I should have thought about that. No, you do have cover. You're just not crouching. Okay. Um, Disco Caddy, can you kill this guy? 80% chance to hit. What I actually really need to do is smoke this. Um, that's a job for matches burn, if I can get them into position. Let's get... Can Raikou get to here? They can. Perfect. That's good cover. And we'll crouch him and turn him this way. Let's just turn over. Your turn's over. Prasad has a flashbang. If I get you here, I don't think you can flash far enough. No. You can't. Uh, you need 29 time units to throw a flash, actually. So that's why you can't. So let's unclick this. If I put you here, do you have enough for a flash? You can flash to there at 50% chance. I'm going to take the chance. Okay, he's suppressed. Good. Um, there's cover here for Morgul. So we're going to bring Morgul to this wall this turn. And then next turn, we're going to crouch them down. Then we're going to move Lin. Is this cover? It's not very nice cover. And also, this is in the way of any shots from there. Can't put them here. We'll put them here for now. And we'll crouch. And we'll end their turn. Your turn's done. Your turn's done. Your turn's done. The Mars... I want to bring it to here. Turn this direction. There's no aliens there. And then I'm going to set it up as a, a sort of a flanking unit. Along this angle here. Also, if this thing has weird wibbly mind powers, whatever it is, the Mars will be immune to them. And then matches burn. I want to get on the roof as well. It's going to take them a couple turns to get there, though. So we'll just get them moving over. Okay. Right, I'm a, I'm, I, I'm a bit concerned about what the alien turns are going to look like here. Okay. There is an alien in there, so we need to deal with that. There's a lot of aliens. Oh, that was a damn good shot. And he's suppressed. Okay, that's plasma, maybe, rather than wibbly mind powers. There's a lot of aliens here. Oof, that's a kill on um, someone else. I don't even know who that was on the top of my head. Prasanth? Is that Prasanth down? Who did we just lose? Yeah, we just lost Corporal Prasad to just... Because I didn't crouch him, I'm guessing. This is a nasty mission. All right, this guy should be on really, really low health. Um, let's take some safe shots with Disco Caddy. Okay, he's down. Now we've got on the roof Gamma Kane. I'm going to crouch them. See if we've got a shot on him. We do. He's suppressed now. Raikou is still in one piece. They've got a 37% chance on them because of the intervening walls. I could move them to here. They'd have enough for a normal shot at 44%. Let's do that because I don't like the cover they're in at the moment. Okay, that's those two dead. Have made a mistake, though, because Raikou isn't crouched. Um, I'm also out of smoke. Morgul, you've got C4. Can I get you to equip that, please? Now, there is an alien this way. I'm going to just attack him with extreme prejudice. Uh, we've got enough for a couple of rifle shots now. Uh, we've got one aimed shot, or we've got two snapshots. We'll take the aimed shot. Missed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Game of Kane's done. Disco Caddy's done. Reiko's done. Lin still hasn't gone. I can bring Lin up to here. Crouch them. Have they got a shot on this guy? They don't, so I'm just going to get them to watch the door. 
Morgul's fine where they are. Matches burn can get on the roof. I don't know if they've got shots from here. Actually, I think they do have shots from here. Although they don't have enough for any use of their main weapon. What I actually want them to do this turn is swap out for their grenade launcher. It's going to cost 20 time units. Next turn, they're going to smoke grenade this area if anyone is still alive. I've kind of purposely left this soldier standing. Um, okay, the Mars. Uh, we just lost William Wally. Is that it? That's, that was a whole alien turn. That was the whole alien turn. All right, Morgul, move up to here. You've got sight on him. That's fine. He can't do anything about you from there. Next turn, Morgul's going to run up. Actually, I could get Morgul around the corner here. Um, like here. Okay, then I'm going to move in for that. Next turn, they're going to C4 the door. I want everyone else just to overwatch for now. Because that's all I've really got. Um, how much do you need to fire a smoke round? Reload smoke round is going to cost 25 time units. So it's, you don't have enough to fire and... Let's bring you to here this turn. 24, 25. I'm going to fire off a grenade, I think. Um, so I could fire a shot here. Here. He's got a 5% chance to hit. I don't know what's going to happen if I do that. I'm kind of keen to find out if the explosion will hit the guy below. Oh, I thought I had enough time minutes to fire. Oh, I don't think I can shoot at just a patch of the air. Yeah, I can't just shoot a patch of air. So the other option is I shoot at the front door. I don't really want to do that, though. So it's going to hold him this turn. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to reload to smoke rounds. Next turn, he's going to smoke. Okay, end turn. So I think there's two aliens inside and this one alien. He can hit her from there. Okay, he's down. No, he's not down. Now he's down. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire a smoke grenade ground around at the doorway here. Yes. Did that work? No, the smoke's in a really weird position. Then we're going to bring Morgul up to here. Not open the door and plant C4. Okay, C4 planet. We're going to bring them around the back of the UFO. Crouch them here. I don't think it costs any time units to click the detonator. Ten time units to click the detonator. So next turn we're going to detonate the C4. That's their turnover. We're going to bring up Raikou to here. Okay, McCain's in position. You don't have enough time units to switch back yet. Okay. This has been a pretty nasty mission, honestly. And we haven't even breached the, the, the UFO yet. Okay, they're not coming out. So let's click the clack. Uh, fire in the hole. Okay, that didn't really, wasn't as dramatic as I hoped it would be, but we've blown the door. So we've got shots on this guy here. That's a miss. You haven't got another shot. You've got flashbang. So I want you to flashbang in the doorway. Unfortunately, you can't get all of them, but you can get those two. Both of them are suppressed. Excellent. And you've got a shot left. Okay, he's still alive. Disco Caddy has a smoke they can throw in the door. Uh, after you've taken a shot, I think. Because you've got... Yeah, you've got enough for a shot and a smoke. Okay, he's down. Now smoke in the doorway. I thought you had enough... Okay, let's just check our other shots before I throw that smoke grenade. So, Game of Cain, do you have any shots inside? Yes, you do. You've got a 100% chance to hit him. But you need to reload. Crumbs. Should have checked that earlier. That, that caught me out. Okay, well, that's your turn over. Um, matches burn. I want you to switch out to the explosive rounds. I'm really worried about how this is going to play out. Can you... So, your range is pretty terrible. Let's get you next to Game of Cain, then. And next turn you can fire. Disco Caddy, I want you to smoke in the doorway. Which is here. Okay. And Morgul, just face this direction. Can I get you to here? Yeah, I can. Perfect. 
If anything comes out, engage it with extreme prejudice. Okay, they're taking stun damage for standing in the smoke and they're not shooting, which is really good for me. So what I want to do is just launch a grenade in that doorway, I think. So I've got a 21% chance of hitting a grenade here. Let's see what happens. Don't think that really did anything. That's terrifying. All right. Um, the smoke's obviously going to make our fire very inaccurate. But I want to kind of just rely on frag grenades and explosives right now. Okay, they're both still alive. Um, let's flash them both. All right, and then we're going to leave everyone else with time units up. So if they come out of the smoke, they're going to get shot. And when the smoke fades, we'll be able to shoot at them. Uh, Game of Kane may have a good shot, actually. They are... Uh, no, they haven't got a good shot. We'll just hold everyone back. Um, let's see how this plays out. Okay, we've got a shotgun hit there. Alright, he's just healing, but we did quite a lot of damage to the weird wibbly beak monster. Does Game of Kid have a shot on it this turn? 22% chance to hit. 67 on this one. Let's take that shot. I'm not sure if I'm really dealing with this properly. There's probably a much safer way to do this. Question, do we try and stun, the, stun this thing? Alright, I've got a 39 times 3 with a shotgun. I think I'm just going to fire it. I'm going to fire again. That was a hit. Okay. Uh, Raikou probably hasn't got a good shot. 40%. That's a hit. That's not a hit. Oof, that Overwatch return fire. 51 here. Okay, it's down. We just have to deal with the... What was it called again? The Saigon? I can't remember what it was called. That's a miss. Okay, we completed the mission. Uh, there's been way too many casualties here. Way too many casualties, but... We've captured an alien, we've captured the UFO, we're going to have some autopsies. Let's just see how it plays out. I said that about four times in the last minute. Alright, that was a bad mission. We lost Nortonius, Prasad, and William Wally, and I can't really afford to build another one at this point. Um, we got, we killed 14 aliens, we lost three Xenonauts, one local survived. We had 11 alien magnetic weapons, we got 46 alloys, 1 Mars wreckage, 1 Mentark, Mentark, Mentarch, Mentark corpse, 9 civilian corpses, 2 captured civilians, we actually managed to knock another one out, and we got 16 Elanium. So Morgul has picked up the Crimson Heart and the Award for Bravery, so anyone who completes it, one of these missions gets this, plus one to all stats, okay. Lin's picked up the Bravery, Disco Gaudius got themselves a Golden Star um, for killing 5 hostiles in their career. Everything else looks straight. Game of Kane's out for 20 days. Raikou's out for 10 days. Morgul's out for 10 days. But we lost... We bought, lost the two... We actually lost the two rookies we brought in with us, which isn't the worst, but it's also not great. Um, what's... Oh, this is this this is a rank up, this icon. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's see what the um, autopsies are like before we end the video. Um, at least that's helped a little bit with getting us some equipment. Carnival's about to arrive. I'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, resource Elanium. Elanium is a yellow crystalline material that sits at the heart of most recovered alien devices. It seems to act like a futuristic battery, storing power at astonishing levels of energy density. A small sample of Elanium holds more energy than a hundred, hundreds of liters of fuel oil at a fraction of the weight. Yet Elanium is also incredibly stable. It emits no heat and nor harmful radiation, and though brittle, it releases no energy when fractured. Indeed, the gentle glow that animates from its surface is the only hint at the vast power locked within. Such a substance could be transformative for human technology. Indeed, many perceive the far-fetched ideas, i.e. handheld laser weapons, already, see, already seem more feasible. However, copious amounts of lignin will be required to make them a reality, and manufacturing it lies well beyond our capabilities. Instead, you must liberate what we need from our fallen foes. Autopsy. Mentark. The Mentark is a grotesque alien creature that resembles an enormous fleshy brain with a single oversized eyeball protruding from the front section. As one might expect, the biological tissue is extremely soft and can easily be damaged using only human hands. 
Strangely, your soldiers report Mentax to be surprisingly resilient foes, as even a single shot from a modern rifle could catastrophically damage something so delicate. I can only assume these creatures employ a miniaturized energy shield for protection. The mechanical section of the creature sits within an armored shell fabricated from alien alloys. The innards consist of a sizable alienium power unit and extensive array of electronic communication components, plus the integrated weapon system. The design of this weapon appears consistent with the standard alien plasma rifle, but the ability to draw power directly from the Mentox power unit allows it to overcharge the emitter and inflict heavier damage than the handheld cousins. A network of vectored thrusters allow the Mentox to hover in place, or slowly propel itself to a new position. Around these thrusters are eight mechanical tentacles that end in fine points, used for manipulating nearby objects when required. DNA sequencing suggests the Mentox is chimeric, containing genetic information from a number of different sources, indeed even small quantities of human DNA are present. Sadly, what motivation the aliens may have for creating such a bizarre creature remain a mystery. Well, the good news is Gaius Balter to remember to wear his gloves for this autopsy. The Mentark is pretty gross. It has 60 accuracy. Um, it has a hovering ability. This unit levitates all the ground, allowing it to move as though it equipped with a jetpack. Um, it's best of its stats are pretty middling, but I was pretty scared of it in that mission. Uh, let's have a look at the other autopsy. Autopsy Sibelian. The reptile, reptilian creatures known as Sibelian is an imposing physical specimen. Standing roughly 2 meters tall and weighing almost 150 kilograms, it appears to be a warm-blooded with sharp claws and savage teeth that imply a carnivorous diet and predatory origin. The majority of this creature can be attributed to the unusually heavy skeleton and scaled height of the creature, with the remaining consisting largely of raw muscle. Unsurprisingly, this hulking physique makes the creature rather difficult to kill in battle. Furthermore, rumors are circulating among your soldiers that civilians possess some form of rapid regenerative ability. This appears to be a plausible claim, given almost 10% of their blood consists of coagulants and unspecialized stem cells, although capturing a live specimen should allow us to verify the facts of the matter. Despite its fearsome appearance, the subject possesses a well-developed brain that implies only slightly less intelligence than an average human, i.e. similar to one of our engineers. However, these creatures are reportedly ponderous by nature and react slowly to unexpected situational changes. Thankfully, the remarkable physical attributes of a civilian are somewhat offset by their vision, which is superb at short distance but rapidly becomes indistinct as range increases, perhaps implying the natural habit of these creatures is thick vegetation. Civilians are best engaged at a distance beyond the reach of the deadly claws where their marksmanship is compromised by pure by poor eyesight. I did notice that they were more accurate at range at Luke's combat in that mission. They've got very bad reflexes as well. So they've got regeneration 20. This shooter has the ability to regenerate damage sustained in combat. At the start of each turn, it will gain the stated number of hit points. So it recovers 20 hit points per turn and cannot be made, made to bleed because that will heal bleeding. It has bad eyesight. Civilians have pure, poor eyesight at distance, causing the shooter to receive a 2% accuracy penalty for each tile at range. Scaled skin. The skin has thick scale. This unit has thick scaled skin that provides a measure of protection against damage. The unit gains the stated amount of extra armor in addition to provided worn armor. So they were wearing armor. They get base five armor on top of that, and they have claws. Civilians are capable of attacking nearby units with their powerful claws. This attack has poor armor penetration. So I was actually in danger of having my whole team clawed apart when I was trying to stun that one at the start. Um, that's good to know. Okay, let's see what the uh, the interview says. Oh, UFO scout. There's a lot of information here. Um, the scout is a small UFO that measures approximately 15 meters from nose to tail and carries only a handful of crew. Though highly advanced, it remains easy prey for our interceptors. The first reason for this is poor maneuverability. The rear thruster array is an extremely efficient ion drive, a form of propulsion that excels when traversing the vacuum of space, but lacks the raw thrust required to change direction quickly in atmosphere. The second is survivability. While the hardened skin of the vessel is impressively tough, it is less than a millimeter thick, nowhere near enough to withstand modern munitions. Indeed, one suspects this armor may be no more than a heat shield intended to protect the vessel planetary approach. Additionally, while the energy weapon mounted on the scout is reasonably effective, it does not appear designed for combat. It is fitted with a variety of different beam emitters, few of which seem to have obvious military application. Indeed, the real weapon problem is such weapons tend to generate powerful EMP effect when discharged into atmosphere. Humanity's most advanced fighter jets are thus worthless against alien vessels, and whole squadron liable to simply fall from the sky with their electronics fried should they attempt to approach one. One therefore suspects the scout is primarily a scientific vessel, designed on the assumption that human aircraft pose little threat. A miscalculation. Given the primitive vacuum tube avionics on the X-25 engine interceptors are not susceptible to EMP. And that's where we're flying old MiGs. Okay, we now have the Sibelian interrogation project available. We can now research laser weaponry, alien and power, and quantum teleportation, which is part of the plot. And that is everything. Right. That was a mission and a half. We definitely took some pretty serious uh, injuries there. We need to actually recruit some more soldiers now because uh, we've lost so many but we'll deal with that in the next video apologies to the two that fell um notorium and uh was it Ryko was the other one no i think Ryko's still alive yeah uh, i'll have to check who it was and put an rp for them on the screen but thank you so much for watching i promise to get another video out a lot sooner than this one came out but for now i will catch you in the next video ciao and see you later Whew, i need a burst after that mission holy crap